I want to bring in our expert now, Jamie Mahler. She's been watching this whole thing transpire, author of Toxic Relationship Recovery. Uh, first off, Jamie, your reaction uh, to the traits in the game. <laughs> oh, I love it. So creative. I love it. You guys did a good job. That's good. Yeah, do you agree <laughs> with, uh, I guess, the bowls that we put the apples in and the various traits we mentioned? Was there one where you went, eh, I don't know? The last one. <laughs> there was only, I, yeah, it was probably the last one. Only because, and actually, I love the point of transparency. So I guess I could see that, like, let them tell on themselves. And sure, you know, they're going to tell you by not telling you and not answering every time you ask them. Transparency right. is I really, really important. Work. It's a form of communication. Yeah. Absolutely. You got it. I've always heard no answer is an answer. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You, you can make again. your decision for yourself. Absolutely. Hey, now I know, Jamie, you talk about this acronym of EASE. Elaborate. Yeah, so when we're talking about the relationship, well, are, are, are you referring to like... E-A-S-E, -E, EASE. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, hold on. Jamie's Let's be, blushing. I, I, I don't. I, I just, when you've decided to move on from an individual and you want to enter a new relationship, you okay. want to ease into okay. it, there are four things and four steps you should take. And the first one yeah. for E, I believe, involves excitement. Yeah, well, okay, so if we're talking about what are we going to do and if we're going to try to gauge, like, where we're going, yeah, excitement. If you don't have excitement about w what you're doing and where you're going, yeah, of course that's going to be the number one sign. Like, if you feel like you have to tolerate somebody, that's a huge sign that there's a there's a problem going on, right? Yeah. Think about that. Tolerate. If I tell people nobody deserves to be tolerated. Nobody deserves to be tolerated. So even if you're on your second date or you're 20 years in and your entire experience is just tolerating them, yeah, right there. You don't have any excitement about it, that's a good sign. I, I have the three yeah. deep breath rules. Oh. Right? Yeah. Like, I mean, this is past. Clearly, I'm happily married yes, right yes, now, yes, but yes. I had the three deep breath rules. If I had sure. to breathe deeply three times within a date, <laughs> It's a wrap. <laughs> it doesn't even matter why. No, it's like, no, right. there. It's a, three deep breaths, so, it's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, actually, I love that. If I, like, even expand on that, think about that. Um, Think about your body, you know? What is your body telling you when you're on these dates, when you're with your partner, yeah, right? What is Get your the hell out of there. <laughs> right? And I'm being serious. If we, if we really just tap into that, like, we just call it somatic. It's just that fancy term, like, somatic feel the body, right? So you're just saying, I feel the, uh, you know, uh, it, like, it's pre, right? It's pre it's just, dramatic yeah, you're going to know. <laughs> for and sure, you also for say sure. it's important to look for someone who's authentic. You also want to feel safe with them. And I'm not just talking physically safe, but emotionally yes. safe Absolutely. with sharing and then following uh, all of that engagement. You have to be able to communicate yes. and get along, essentially. Yes, and absolutely. You really have to tap into what you want. And when people ask me, well, how are we going to recover from a toxic relationship or how are we going to get through this? I sit there and I go, you have to kind of tap into what you want, right? And that really rubs people the wrong way because sometimes you're like, I don't want someone. I don't want someone that's really into dogs. I don't want someone that's really into <laughs> video games. And people are like, well, that's who I am. So like, what are you saying? And yeah. I, I, I try to point out to people, I go, stop trying to fit a square of hag in a round hole, right? right? Like what you're trying to do is you're trying to say, I wish you were someone else. Could yeah, you just right. be that? Well, well, what you're trying to do is change yeah. a rotten apple into a good apple, yeah, and that ain't just happening. Yeah, exactly. That's a perfect so, Jamie, thank you so much for joining us. We had so much fun. We got to have yeah. you back on our Lion Lunch Hour.